Welcome to I Love RV Life. Well, it's, uh, it's October and uh, we're getting ready to start our big winter trip. We do a couple of these every year. And uh, we'll do the fall leave change up in North Georgia. Love that. Uh, strongly recommend it. Um, there's a link here in this post where we go up there. We love Helen. We love Dahlonega, the wine regions. Just so much to do. We just absolutely love it. But uh, we're going to do something different this year. Uh, we're going to take a northern trip starting then right after Christmas, and then we'll be gone for three months, and we're going to do a big loop uh, up the coast and then across into Carolinas. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be cold, so <laughs> stay tuned to those posts. We'll see what happens. But uh, last year we had some hard luck. Um, our fifth wheel is uh, about 14,000 pounds fully loaded. Um, and I'll get a little technical here when we talk about tires. Uh, the tires that we have on this unit are uh, eight bolt pattern rims, 6,000 pound axles uh, with 16 inch wheels. Um, you know, if you do the math, um, this camper should hold that. Uh, you're probably, you know, if you get perfect even uh, weight distribution on both sides, that's a little over 6,000 pounds with about 2,000 pounds on the, on the pin weight. And, um, you know, it, it, that, it, that should work fine. But uh, in actuality, it didn't. Uh, we had two blowouts last year. Part of it was due to the tires. I'm not going to do any tire slamming. There's enough on the blog. You can see about that. But we had belt separation. And I am, uh, I, I take care of tires like a religion. Um, so we, we really had a rough go. So we're at the stage now that um, after reading a bunch of blogs and talking with friends and so forth, we did the big jump from 16 inch wheels to 16 and a half. Why? Well, the 16 and a half is more of a commercial grade tire. Um, they're also rated, if you got a single tire at about 4,800 pounds, we're using the Goodyear G114s. Um, or uh, on the wheelbase that we've got here, uh, roughly about 4,500 pounds of capacity per wheel. And they're 75 mile an hour wheels. I don't drive that fast. I drive between 62 and 65. Part is for uh, just to make sure that, um, you know, I can stop it when I need to stop it. And second, it just takes the fatigue out and gives me superior gas mileage. We get with our diesel, uh, we get about 12 miles to the gallon out on the road, which uh, I, I know some people are going to want to balk that, but we really do. Um, but we're going to go with these uh, 17 and a half inch wheels. It's a bit of a task. Um, I'll give a shout out. I'm not compensated for this. We use trailerandtire.com. They were just absolutely a joy to work with. Uh, two day shipping. Uh, from Ohio to Middle Georgia, it was like 155 bucks pickup at FedEx. Um, it, it was a good deal. But uh, the wheel change, you know, I'll take. Some, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the camera here in a minute because I don't have an extra set of hands. But I'll take some snapshots. Uh, prepare. Be careful. Have a good brake bar. Uh, these lugs are on here, some kind of tight. As a matter of fact, my air wrench wouldn't even take them off. They're on some tight. Um, and I really think this is going to give us a lot more margin. I think it's going to give us a better tire, a lot more safety. Uh, were the wheels and tires expensive to go this route? Well, I'll go ahead and share this. It wasn't cheap. Uh, I'll let you contact trailer and tire. I'm sure ch prices change, but we went to the, with the aluminum wheels uh, for heat dissipation. Um, and we're using the Goodyear. Why the Goodyear? Uh, you might ask. Well, one of the reasons is if we do have the unforeseen, um, you know, hit something out on the highway or something like that, you can just about pull over at any truck stop. A Loves, a, you know, any of the, you, you go down the list, a pilot, whatever else. And because it's a commercial tire, it's easy to find. Um, so uh, the tires that we have on here now, uh, they're really good. Uh, they're 14 ply steel belted commercial grade tires. Uh, six ply steel wall, uh, steel belt in the walls. They've been heavy duty tires. Uh, they've served us well for the past year, but we're just at the top of the limit. And um, you know, what is there a price for safety and just the lack of aggravation? I want to go down the road. I don't want to have the headache of you know having to worry about. Um, them blowing up. I just want to look forward, have a good time, and not have to jump every time I hear a little piece of road noise. A lot of value in that. So, you know, we plan on keeping this camper for a long time. We plan on putting a lot of miles on it. Um, so, let me show you what the process is uh, that we've been doing here. 
So let's take a look. So as we look here, I've already changed out one wheel. Uh, this is that, uh, uh, excuse me there, this is that uh, Goodyear. Uh, it's, the, it's the G14. Uh, and you can look at the loan range on these things. Uh, you know, I might can zoom in here and you'll be able to see it. Um, these are serious wheels, you know, in, in a tandem arrangement, dual arrangement. You're looking at, you know, 4,500, 4,800. Um, this is, you know, literally giving us uh, over 2,000 pounds an axle. Uh, and then about another 12 miles of uh, additional range in each one of these. Uh, I talked about using a good brake bar. I tried to use one of those typical spinners. It just isn't going to happen. Um, this is a, a, a two-foot brake bar, and um, you can just pop them right off. Uh, the other thing to make sure you do um, is get the industrial stainless steel uh, stems uh, to put on here. Uh, so you don't have any pop-offs. I don't have those on my other wheels. I, I wish I did. And if you look, I'll step back here. If you look at tire height and size, uh, they're virtually identical. Uh, there might be just a fraction of an inch, ever so small difference between the two wheels. So you can go from a 16 to a 17 and a half, and you don't have to worry about any clearance issues, uh, which is a thrill. Um, it is a bit of a task um, to get these things. Just take your time, be careful, be safe. Um, here is the old wheel, uh, the first one that I've taken off. Yep, Jerry scuffs a wheel every now and then, and that was from Panama City, and we had a tight turn, and I scuffed that bad boy, but I didn't hurt it. Um, this comes with four, I ordered four wheels. Um, good thing is I can keep a spare, and because they're the same height, uh, that'll get me from point A to point B without any problems uh, with a spare. Uh, I got all new lug nuts. Here's one of the problems that you get with these lug nuts. Um, and these things are a pain in the backside. Uh, they swell. It's a, it's covered. If you'll notice, it's it's covered. And these things swell. They get water in them right around this edge here. And when you get that water in there, these things swell, and they're a pain in the backside. Um, so, you know, you'll see I've got a, a hammer here to tap on and then a pair of, of grips to be able to um, uh, pop them loose. But it's a good project. Um, it's going to take me, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes a wheel. Not too bad. Maybe 30 at the most, taking my time. They're heavy. Uh, these, these, uh, these new wheels here weigh, I don't know, about 90 pounds a piece loaded. And um, what I've got to do now is go get the camper weighed after I do this because uh, these tires can handle, uh, I think, uh, 125 pounds. There's no need to be able to put that much in there, and I'm going to be able to let some of that air out. Uh, they actually came with 120 pounds. So uh, I'll take some pictures here as I continue this project um, and narrate in between. Just uh, Like I said, I can't get the camera, and the lighting is going to be poor. Um, but uh, anyway, good project. And... Um, uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, I think anybody running, you know, a big heavy camper like this and you want that margin. Um, I've got a friend that just upgraded from 14 inch to 15 on his pull behind. Exact same reason. Uh, he just got tired of tires giving away. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's both a safety factor and just an enjoyment factor. I want to get from point A to point B and not worry about it. And let's have a good time traveling and seeing the sights, not sitting on the side of the road waiting for uh, Good Sam's roadside assistant to come help us uh, change out a tire. Anyway, um, here we go. You'll, uh, you, uh, you'll see some process here and some narration as we continue on. So I've got Joan here catching me. Just, you know, I'm just taking this big old brake bar. Before I jack this thing up, break these lugs loose. As you can tell, um, this thing is serious. And um, I normally do it in a cross pattern. There's no big reason behind this, but uh, the uh, guys that put these on um, really wanted to make sure they weren't going to come off. And I appreciate that. But boy, they are a bear. Like I said, I got an impact wrench. And I couldn't get them to budge. So the only thing I'm going to do at this stage is just break the nuts loose. Nothing more. I don't want to put any stress on the lugs. And then I'll crawl under and uh, I'll take some snapshots of what I'm doing to uh, put the jacks on and get them going. So that's about all of it. Okay, so let's crawl under. Let's crawl under now and... Uh, 
get our jack set up and I'll show you what that's all about. So here I am uh, setting up the uh, jack. This is just a regular three ton bottle jack. Nothing, nothing very sophisticated here. And um, <clears throat> you know, I've got a series of blocks. Here's a four by four pressure treat. And uh, just so I don't have to put so much um, extended jack out too far, uh, I just put a block. So just a little bit of wood, a little block. Just make sure if you do this, this is a three by three, uh, center, center the bottle or the can, whatever you want to call that, the cylinder of the um, jack uh, directly over it. Make sure that uh, you're completely centered on your axle. If you've never done this before, I mean, be respectful, be careful. Uh, please be careful and uh, make sure you got it chocked. Make sure you got your wheels chocked. Um, I've got that on both sides uh, so we don't have any fear of it rolling. And uh, you don't have to go up too high, just enough to get it up. Uh, I will bring this up as well. Uh, while you're here, you know, crawl under and look at these crummy wheels. <laughs> <laughs> These are pretty sorry. I was a welder for a long time, so uh, I'd have been fired if I'd have done junk like that. But anyway, check your welds and, you know, just look at your axles. Make sure that, you know, nothing's going on. You're under here. You're already getting dirty and it's hot and sweaty. So uh, just go ahead and get it taken care of. Uh, jack this bad boy up. Yep. Here at Creek. It's going to make some noise. Uh, and just get the weight off the wheel and, uh, and you'll be fine. A little jittery, but I'm going to pause here. And I'll be back in a minute. So there we have it. Uh, a couple hours of work. It wasn't too bad. Uh, maybe 30 plus minutes a tire. Um, I think probably spent more time doing the research and talking with folks before I made the change out. Again, it's a pretty substantial investment, but um, you know it looks pretty good. I'm uh, I'm happy with the look. Um, going from a 17.5 uh, from a 16, uh, there was virtually no difference in height. Um, the tires are a little bit narrower. Um, I'm not really concerned about that. Really, it probably helped me when I'm jackknifing into uh, some of these tight um, state parks, you know, where it's really tight and difficult to get into. So uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased. So there you have it. It's, uh, it's finally gotten warm here. Middle Georgia, uh, supposed to be 90 today. Tried to get this thing started early this morning. But it's a good project. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting this out on the road. Um, two weeks, we'll head out. Uh, if you don't hear from me, you know it all went well. So uh, again, if you're really wanting to uh, give that camper that little bit of extra safety margin, uh, it, uh, it looks like this 17 and a half uh, inch upgrade of wheel from 16 is gonna be very, very beneficial. Again, a couple thousand pounds an axle on each side of, of uh, margin for each tire. Not going to overload it, not going to stretch it, but uh, it's just nice that I can go down the highway now with less worries. Uh, as always, this is Jerry and uh, I love RV life.